Hello guys, welcome back to the Droid Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix. Pan world is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck or loading screen, which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app so let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we have to do a restart on the PC, so just go over here in this game. Click on the start icon over here, go to this particular icon, go for a restart and once the restart is done, just try launch the game and that will be working fine and this is what we have to do as the first step. Next one is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So we will be launching the game from Steam and that is may, that is my, that might be the reason why we are having the crashing issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So stop launching the game from steam instead we can navigate to the installation folder we have two method the first one just go over here and right click and go to the properties go for install it file and just click on the browse so if you go back you will be able to see this particular folder and if you check at the top that is this pc localist c program file x86 steam steam apps common pal world and now we can launch the game from here so this is one step and also apart from this, we can also navigate to the installation folder using the file explorer. First navigate to local disk C. Now go to the program file x86. Go to the steam folder over here. Navigate to steam apps. Go to common. Now from here we have to navigate to the pal word. So these games which I downloaded, among this we have to search for the pal word. Open this. Now launch the game from here. This particular step did work for many users in my past knowledge. So you can try this out. If that is not the case, I'll be showing you two more steps which can be done, hence within the installation folder that will be much easy. That is all about we have to run the game as administrator and we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. So right click over here and first go to show more options, navigate to the properties, go for compatibility. Make sure the run this program in compatibility mode should be selected and we have to set this to Windows 8 first and go for apply. If Windows 8 is not working, go for Windows 7 and go for apply. And also make sure disable full screen optimization should be turned off and also you have to make sure the run this program as administrator should be marked as well and once you mark both run the program in the compatibility mode and you have to run the game in the administrator go for apply and go for ok and once afterwards just close everything go back to the game and try launch the game and you have to see whether it's going to work or not next one make sure that the time and region is correct which is very important for this reason what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the search navigate to settings go for time and language make sure the date and time make sure the time zone automatically and time automatically and all these three things should be turned on which is very important now go back go to the language and region make sure that you have selected the country according to geography for example if you're from united states you have to select united states and if you're from united kingdom you have to select united kingdom and if you're from any other country you have to select it as well and once after done with this one just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game next one is all about we have to launch the game and you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard so just launch the game press alt and tab from the keyboard and that will be working fine and it worked for many users so you can try this out as well Next one is all about we have to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer. Now from here go to this PC and over here you will be able to find go to documents and over here if you are able to find the folder on like uh, overwatch you will be able to find the folder for the pal world. If you find the folder just delete the folder. Keep in mind when you do this you will be losing all the progressions of the game. So if the folder is not here just get into the folder my games and over here you will be able to find the folder. Just delete the folder of pal world and just keep in mind you will be losing all the progressions and you have to start from the scratch once again. But even though it worked for many guys for launch the game when these kind of issues pop up for them it worked for them so you can try this out. Next one we have to allow the game to window security. For this reason we have to go over here in the search, search for control panel. Go for system and security, go for windows defender firewall, go for allow and app feature through windows defender firewall, keep scrolling down and navigate to pal world. So just go keep scrolling down and go to the pal world, 
make sure both the private and public both has to be selected which is very important and once it is marked you have to try launch the game so if the game is not here imagine the game is not here we can add it by default just click on the change setting go for allow another app go for browse now from here go to this pc go to local disc c go to program file x86 go for steam over here navigate to steam apps now from here go to common now from here navigate to the pam world just click on the sorry pal world select this one and we have to go for open and we have to add it i'm getting the error because the game is already added so if the game is not there this is how we can add it by default and once afterwards try launching the game next one is all about we have to allow the game to windows security which i set and that is all about we have to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with a lot of usb devices peripherals for example logitech wheels you know uh, many joysticks might be connected these even sometimes can cause the issue up and that is why we are having the crashing issue in all the times up so just remove the unwanted things that is what we have to do we just need to remove the unwanted things so just remove the unwanted things from there and once afterwards we just need to try launch the game as well next one is all about we have to perform a clean boot that is what we have to do so just go over here in the search and we have to search for system configuration so just search for uh, Okay, let me search it once again the system configuration the search for system configuration now from here go to the services go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for disable all and go for apply and go for okay they're going to ask you for restart so the users are watching this go for restart but here we are in the middle of shooting so i'm going to go for exit without restart after the restart is done just try launch the game and that will be working fine because it worked for this many users for many other games so you can try this out as well this game as well we found this from the reddit so uh, you can trust on this you can try this out as well next one we have to disable the steam overlay so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties go over here make sure enable the steam overlay while in game if this is turn it on we have to turn this off and once afterwards try launch the game next one we have to try giving commands in the launch option so the commands are the first one that is dx11 you have to try giving the first command dx11 if dx11 is not working try with the command dx12 so either the dx11 will be working and we have to try with dx12 any one of the things will be working fine so either the dx11 or we have to try with dx12 so any one of the things will be working fine and once afterwards try launch the game next one is all about we have to close all the overlay application so just go over here in the game right click and we have to go over here in the task manager now from here we just need to go over here and if you find any unwanted things for example discord riva tuner msi afterburner all these are one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue these drain out a lot of performance and when we launch the game simultaneously these are running in the background you'll be having a crashing issue so just remove these unwanted things from here and once you remove the unwanted things from here and once afterwards just close this and we have to go back and we just need to try launch the game and that will be working fine as well next one is all about we have to run the game as a uh, administrator for this we just need to go over here in the search search for graphic settings search for graphic settings and we have to open this now from here we just need to make sure the game is added here so hence the game is not added we have it we have to add it by default just click on the browse now go to this pc or where the game is installed go to local disk c go to program file x86 go for steam navigate to steam apps go to common now from here we just need to navigate to pal world go over here and add the game pal world so open the game select this one and we have to add it so the game is added just click on the option make sure let windows side should be selected to high performance which is very important set this to high performance and go for save and once you save this just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about we have to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the search we have to search for view advanced system settings just click on this one and go for advanced and click on the settings go to the advanced once again go for change make sure automatically manage page file size should be unchecked and also you have to select the local disk where the game is installed and in my case it is local disk c now go for the custom size set the value for initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram 
so just go over here and we need to find the ram so just uh, in order to find the ram so i know what is the ram of my computer that is 32 gb so first i have to give the value for initial size that is 32 gb is my ram i have to multiply with the constant value 1024 so you have to multiply your ram with 1024 and you'll be getting an answer just multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 49152 so copy this and we have to paste it next one we have to go for maximum size that is 32 GB, which is my RAM. You have to type your RAM and multiply with the constant value 1024. Multiply it with 3. That brings you 98304. And we have to paste this. And we have to go for OK. And once afterwards, just close this. And we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. Is we just need to update the windows. So just go over here in the search. And we have to go to the settings. Just go to Windows Update and make sure the Windows is up to date. And if you're having this issue, which is called the cumulative updates are pending over here, make sure these issues are sorted first, which means just go for Restart now, update the Windows and make sure they're on the latest version. And once afterwards, just close everything and the Windows is restart. We just need to try launch the game and that will be working fine as well. Next one, also you have to try we have to update the graphics card and we have to install the Microsoft Visual C++. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both. So the NVIDIA users have to go to the first one that is NVIDIA official link. Now select everything like you have to select the product type, product series, product, operating system, language, everything should be selected. And you'll be getting this, once you go for start search, you'll be getting these options. So the driver version is 546.65, you have to download this one. And the 546.34, it is quite a little bit older, which is on 29, 2023, which is on December last year. We can download the latest one. Try downloading this, install, restart is mandatory and try launch the game. If you're on the AMD, just select everything like your details has to be selected and go for submit. So if you're on Windows 11, download this one. And if you're on Windows 10, you can download this one as well. You can also try installing the Microsoft Visual C++. Just go over here. If the system is based on x64, you can download this one. If the system is based on x86, you can download this one. And install and restart, which is a mandatory, and that is what we have to do. And the last and the least step, we can also try uh, two steps, which is very important. And one among them is you have to uninstall the game, and you have to reinstalling it back. When you're reinstalling it back, you have to keep in mind, you should not be installing back on the same local disk from which you uninstall. You have to try a new local disk, and that is very important. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to verify integrity of game file. So right click over here and go to the properties. Go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So it is going to take a bit of time. What happens is this will cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, we'll be having these kind of issues. So this has to be fixed from there and so we just need to wait for this one. So once it reach 100% you have to wait and you have to try launch the game and afterwards still if you are having the issue i'll be showing you what you have to do as the next one So as you can see, the files are successfully validated and once afterwards try launch the game. And these possible workarounds can be done and that will be working for you guys when you're having an issue with PAM, PAL work. And I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.